Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 league uh, jersey review. Yeah, thanks to the World Cup, this has to happen now in the new year. But you know, since everything is restarting, it's sometimes even nice to look at the jerseys. And League R is a very interesting league, just on the supplier side. Uh, we have probably more German brands than we have actually in the Bundesliga. We have sadly only one French brand at the moment in League R and only two Nike teams, which I think makes it very, very interesting. Overall, we have quite a few uh, interesting shirts for sure. I always say that the French League is probably a very underappreciated in terms of shirts so i'm really really excited to bring those to you as always i'm grading the jerseys in this review on a scale from one to ten where one is the worst ten is the best and now the question of course is how do i choose the uh, teams that are in each of the four videos since we have 20 teams for the last time uh, for, as for now for liga well i take last season standings and then i go one two three four four three two one and so on and the number next to each team says in which video and which part of the review it will be and so in this video we have ren the only team where i own a jersey in this lot we have nice we have Reims, we have montpellier and we have playoff winner Auxerre who are back and because I uh, again sort of alphabetically Osser is the first thing that we're looking at and I'm happy not only am I happy to have Osser back because they have been when I started watching but they were one of the French teams uh, simply said but also we have uh, Macron another Macron jersey and similar to Nantes it's a rather simple one but I actually think it's rather effective and what's better than for Nantes is that the sponsor fits very nicely within the uh, color scheme. It's very simple. I, of course, it would expect way more sponsors in league play on there, as is typical for the French league. But just like that, this looks like a really nice, very simple, but yet very effective uh, Georgia jersey with a sponsor that actually looks very uh, nicely put there. You know, I like the rounded letters, uh, Saint Serif as well. So really nice there. I'm actually gonna start off this review with a high grade with eight. Macron really doing things wrong and I have to say that the away jersey is even nicer where you have actually a short collar with a little bit of sleeve cuff uh, interaction with the club's colors. Really love that one. That's a rather strong look. I got it. I, I got it. I can say again sponsors could take this down i have this picture now i haven't seen too much of osea to be honest so i cannot talk but i really like full color color crest sticks out on on the black the little uh, stripes along the um collar and on the sleeve cuffs makes the really good good looking shirt maybe outline blue uh, outline for a sponsor maybe but cool could have also, also been too much also an eight star for this one and we're going to montpellier which has in france one of my favorite color combination is always blue and orange or navy and orange however this time again nike this is the only the second nike team that we have after after psg nike went a little bit too far i'm sure this is one of their templates that they have um again sponsor overload but if there is a nice pattern below this could actually work fine, but this pattern seems to be so random and not working too to me that a favorite color scheme already goes down. And then again, if you have too many sponsors on there, it also does not look good. I'm really sorry to say because I really like more, more especially for their nice color combination. But this one just doesn't color color for me. This is to me a three star uh, jersey. And I have have said the away jersey, silvery white with orange sleeves. What's that? It's really, really, really odd looking. I, I honestly, it, it, it I don't like. It. I really, I think it is. Uh, if at least all the logos were in blue to stick with the club, and then maybe have a full color character it looks. But this one, uh, it's disappointing to say to to say the least. Uh, so I can only give this a two star and I don't, don't think it will, will get better with the third jersey because it just doubles down on a bad template with really, really awful colors. This might well be the worst jersey in France this season. 
in my, in my opinion. And it's not necessarily down to design, but it's really down to bad colors. Uh, I really hate that one. Really, really hate that one. From a club that has such a vibrant color, color scheme, such a dead shirt. No. I'm also gonna give, 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 give it two because there's no wild pad pattern, but other than that, uh, I cannot express my disappointment. It's a little bit refreshing to th see their pink October jersey. This is definitely more vibrant, but then the template used, again, I don't know. All the bad Nike tem templates go into one club, not good either. But again, again, I get the pink. I don't like the sleeves, especially the shape that is then on the shoulders. Ah, I'm not liking that one one bit as well. I'm also gonna go with two stars here. It's it is just Montpellier. I'm sorry, you're one of my favorite teams for the colors, but this one just does not work out for me at all. Nice, we're staying in the south of France and the home jersey again, uh, also. Macron, you usually do as well, but I think if Macron would have stayed here with a stripe pattern, but again, this is all very much like what Pum Pum is doing. One side we fade on the shoulder, the other side we fade on the bottom, we have over faded and with, with black uh, stripes. Not, it doesn't do much for me. I like my red and black shirts, as you know, in stripes even but it needs to look a little bit something that there is a thought but this is just it's a half half jersey without being really a half half jersey i think the sleeves i think the other sleeve should be red honestly honestly i should have had some stripes and the you know there could be a little bit more done <clears throat> the only thing that saves them is the nice sponsor but it's not a good jersey uh good jersey and uh, again after a good good start this is a three star to me. I uh, cannot go higher. The away jersey, though, that's also among my favorites in France this year. This year, uh, when I saw Lille against Nice, uh, Lille in the home jersey, this I really lo love it. The only odd thing is that the side stripe in red, I saw them when they played against Köln, I think, it was only on one side, which is odd. So uh, I'm assuming, I mean, here the side stripe. You could take it away, but if 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 that's fine, but it should it should it should be on both sides. But I really like the center stripe with the red and and the black. Uh, it really looks strong. Again, it is broken up. That takes it down a little bit. Uh, but other than that, this is where uh, Macron had a really really nice idea. Overall, from the overall look, is one of my favorite shirts in France this year. But few things I don't like, so I'm gonna only go with eight. Although I really would like to go nine, if not ten, but uh, that, that's just a few too many quirks. And then what can I say about the third jersey? It or in purple and orange. Yeah, that's a color combination you don't see very very, very often. It's an interesting color com combination. I also gotta got, got, got say it's not a very nice, but maybe it's a very cote d'azur because you know there's a little bit of sunset, whatever in in, in the end the uh, lavender uh, fields. I guess we can speculate that this is the uh, in inspiration behind it. It's probably the, um, um, with the most vibrant jersey, but you know, I'm not sure about it overall. I'm gonna give it six just because I like the color calm, calm combination that did something interesting uh, with it. Let's go to a very traditional team in Stade de Reims, uh, still with Umbro. They finally go with the simplified crest. There's not Stade de Reims, it's just the SR logo, which I have to say, this is a really, really nice crest. This is a modern, modern crest that I really like, I have to say. Um, and it's the classic Arsenal style uh, Reims look that I also enjoy. I especially enjoy the, um, uh, the color with the three white uh, white stripes, almost Adidas like, but I think it looks nice. I'm not even bothered by the sponsors above the crest and the Umbro logo because it's all uh, tone in tone, so it doesn't it doesn't really stick out as a bad jersey. Really good look, I have to say. I'm gonna go uh, with eight stars, and that's despite all the many sponsors. The away jersey, yeah, is a little bit. Reminds me of the Puma temple. Let's see the spot on uh, with, with the color that is very much Nike, the classic Nike color. The colors, of course, are Champagne, Champagne uh, uh, top here. 
not quite it for me. Gotta be honest, not quite it for me. Uh, there's just too many quirks in there, but I think it is nice enough to give it a five star rating. Um, the third jersey in black with an interesting pattern. Maybe this is some sort of, you know, could be an attempt at stained glass windows or whatever. So, you know, there's some red in there as well. It looks interesting, but here, honestly, the um, because white on black is such a star, uh, strong contrast, sticks out a little bit too much. The sponsors on top also are um, missing the red, which is one of the club's colors. So we had already two jerseys in a row where there is not red in there so for me that takes it down a notch i'm sorry to say uh and it's also a little bit yes there's an interesting pattern in it, but it's a little bit black for black sake and it's not a strong look as we had for instance for monaco um therefore again i'm gonna go five it's not a bad jersey per se but it's a little bit disappointing but most people really love the Christmas jerseys, which is basically the home 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 jersey in red sleeves, and there's a little bit of a gold uh, pattern thrown in there for good measure, which makes it probably a little bit more popular uh, with people and you know Christmas season in there. I tend to agree that this is nice, but I do like the white sleeves a teeny bit better. But I still, I would agree. I would go with eight stars here. I think it is definitely. A nice one so very mixed bag from uh start the Reims. and then we go to start rene up in the bretagne the main team the team that i'm wearing the only team that i have a jersey which is a shame given uh that there are at least three if not four teams other teams that actually would be deserving of being in my collection i'm sorry we start Rennes. ever since they got took uh, uh released this this jersey it's I can only be stepped out for here and while i don't mind the off center stripe why does it end at the crest why cannot it go all the way through i do like the ermeline uh, pattern uh, on the jersey that is nice but it could be a little bit more in your face honestly or either take the black stripe or the pattern both seems a little bit too much to, to, to me so you know nice ideas in there but I think it could be done better. I honestly would take the red stripes stripe out and would make the pattern a little bit more uh, uh, stronger, maybe in black instead of a darker red on there. But it's not a bad jersey overall, uh, but it's also not one that excites me, so I'm gonna go six here. The away jersey, yeah, same pattern on there. Um, we forget about the red except for the crest, but then it's white and black. Okay, I get it. I maybe would have liked to see either the collar or the sleeve cuffs in red. That I think would have made a difference here, uh, at least the way I would uh, perceive the, jer the jersey. A teeny touch more red. Other than that, standard Puma template. I do like the pattern on there. Again, you could make it stronger, but then it would uh, it, it would probably compete with the sponsor, which would not have been an issue with the home jer jersey. So that's maybe the one uh, thing. I also think that the sponsor um, either take only the S or only some sick, but both of it also seems a little bit overkill, don't you think? I I, I have a strong, I'm, I'm feeling rather strongly about it. I have also the some sick sponsor here. It, it is a little bit much. Again, rather av average, but not a bad jersey, so we go six. Now for my Milan sensibilities, the third jersey is the one that I do not get. Where is the blue and the black coming from? Is it navy? I, I don't know, that just is a is a little bit up to me let's make the one jersey just when, when i saw the whole uh, shirts uh before i always felt this one i don't quite get what does this have to do with ren maybe i should have done more research uh the color is the same that milan you uses it's even that the stripes you know they stop it's it's a, a blue jersey where there's four uh black stripes and then the shoulders uh, go they kind of disappear so uh, rather odd and full colored crest. It's an odd one. It's definitely an odd one to me. And for that reason, yeah, it's a useful jersey, but it's, it's too odd. I'm gonna go three here. And we're done with all the jerseys that have been released as of the shooting of this video, which is beginning of January in the, for this season. Again, let me know which jersey in this video you do like. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this. 
I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!